little stopover one night in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now everybody knows about the casinos, the gambling, the shows, and all of that kind of thing. But when you're with a family, you don't necessarily want to do those things. So we found something a little bit different. We're going to go inside the Atomic Testing Museum, and we're going to learn a little bit about the Cold War and the space race and uh, the nuclear age. The Atomic Testing Museum is quite interesting. Uh, those of us who grew up at the end of the Cold War remember some of these things, but it does a very good job of explaining uh, sort of the beginnings of the Cold War, um, how the whole nuclear threat escalated, and why it was felt that we needed to test nuclear weapons in the Nevada desert. Um, you know, in retrospect, I'm sh not sure everybody would completely agree with all of the viewpoints, but, um, but it does a good job of explaining the mindset of people at the time. There's a lot to read in this museum to understand everything that took place, but they also make good effect of video resources and films and a lot of visual aids too. That a radioactive atom is like a set mousetrap or contain energy. To start the chain reaction, all we need is warm neutron. Watch. An atomic chain reaction works in exactly the same way. The technology that was developed for underground nuclear testing has found its way out into industry and other applications, for example, deep sea oil drilling and things like that. Uh, it was also used to good effect to rescue the miners who were trapped in Chile. So next time you come to Vegas, if you're tired of casinos or you're just tired of losing money, come visit the Atomic Testing Museum and see what put Las Vegas on the map. You could buy things from the gift shop afterwards. I suggest the atomic fireball.